Vietnam and the United States on Sunday announced the establishment of Comprehensive Strategic Partnership for Peace, Cooperation and Sustainable Development, a measure historic upgrade from the current Comprehensive Partnership. The move followed talks between General Secretary of the Communist Party of Vietnam Nguyen Phu Trọng and the U.S. President Joe Biden in Hanoi. In the announcement after the meeting with U.S. President Joe Biden, General Secretary of the Communist Party of Vietnam, Nguyen Phu Trọng, said Vietnam welcomes the two countries establishing relations at a new level, a comprehensive strategic partnership for peace, cooperation and sustainable development for the benefit of people of the two countries, and the desire to strengthen cooperation for the goals of peace, cooperation and sustainable development in the new context. He emphasized that Vietnam's consistent foreign policy focuses on independence, self-reliance, peace, friendship, cooperation and development, diversification and multilateralization of foreign relations, being proactive and active in comprehensive international integration. The two leaders agreed that the past reality show that the most important factors for the development of Vietnam-U.S. relations are foreign respect for basic principles that guide the two countries' relations, including respect for the United Nations Charter, international law and each other's political institutions, independence, sovereignty, and territorial integrity. The U.S. leader emphasized the importance of Vietnam's role and position in the region, appreciating Vietnam's active role in many regional and global issues. The president affirmed his support for ASEAN's central role and his desire to cooperate with Vietnam to contribute to ASEAN solidarity and prosperity. The Ministry of Industry and Trade has set a target to increase the cutlash payment ratio in e-commerce, especially e-payments through payment intermediaries or application to 50% by 2025. As part of the effort to implement the national plan on e-commerce development, the Ministry of Industry and Trade had set ambitious target for non-cash payment in e-commerce activity as high as 50% by 2025. Another goal is to raise the ratio of payment conducted through payment intermediary service providers to 80% of non-cash payment in e-commerce activities by 2025. Thrilling performance of off-road driving skill in Tuyen Quang. Exhibition displaying nearly 170 ceramic antiquities. 36 teams with 72 athletes from five northern cities and province took part in the Tuyen Quang 2023 off-road driving demonstration competition on September 9th. The competition is part of a series of activity response to the Tuyen Citadel Festival. This is the second time the off-road vehicle demonstration is held in Tuyen Quang province. The tournament brought together nearly 40 off-road and sport cars of off-road vehicle clubs nationwide. Participating in the competition, athletes had a chance to demonstrate off-road skill, including driving through deep holes, balance driving, climbing step slope, driving on sand, and wading through water. An exhibition is now underway at the History Museum of Ho Chi Minh City, featuring a wide array of valuable ceramic antiques spanning from the 11th century to the early 20th century. Nearly 170 items contributed by 27 members of the Ho Chi Minh City Antiquities Association are on display. They originate from both Vietnam and China and come in a wide variety of ceramic materials in different categories. Items include worshipping statues and incense burners, ornamental ceramics like miniature figurines and decorative vases, as well as everyday objects like bowls, plates, teapots and water containers. Several stand out as exceptionally unique or rare, including a green glazed ceramic pot crafted during the Li Dynasty and a plate from the Chuda pottery line. On this occasion, members of the Ho Chi Minh City Antiquities Association donated a total of 91 items to the History Museum of Ho Chi Minh City. 
Hội An is compelling a dozier to seek the recognition of the city located in the central province of Quảng Nam as a member of the UNESCO Creative City Network in the field of craft and fox arts. For the past 500 years, the people of Thanh Ha Pottery Village of Hoi An are still diligently creating ceramic products for the daily needs of people home and abroad. Here, men work on the soil, create patterns, women sharpen pottery and make blends. Generation after generation, the famous handmade pottery isn't just an art form, it's a livelihood and world renowned. As a member of the Pottery Village, I hope younger generations will continue and preserve the traditional pottery profession. Not only Thanh Ha Pottery, Hoi An residents also preserve more than 100 famous traditional crafts from the 17th century when Hoi An was a busy international trading port exporting silk weaving products, leather making, embroidery, lanterns, carpentry to the world. Those are the legacies for Hoi An to seek UNESCO Creative Cities Network membership. The development and maintenance of cultural values and craft villages throughout history have shown that local residents in the lower Tuban River Basin have managed to adapt to different contexts, and that is the most wonderful creation. Thanks to heritage tourism, Hoi An has revitalized many craft villages and folk arts. Given UNESCO standards for a creative city, it has to prove that its products of creativity can survive and develop on their own without dependence on tourism. UNESCO launched the network in 2004 to promote cooperation among cities that recognize creativity as a significant factor of their development. That's the end for today. Thanks for your watching and see you next time.